very, very brief Rikita update. Rikita tweets like a hundred times a day. It's just what he does. He tweets constantly. Every waking hour, he seems to be on his phone, playing on his phone, tweeting at people and shit. Uh, he does it in the shower. He does it while pooping. He does it while he's on stream. He does it when he should be sleeping. He just He's always up, always on that fucking phone, tweeting all the time. Uh, dozens of times, you know, like an hour. And someone screen capped this chat and posted it. And um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like old Lang sign playing in my head. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? That's what's happening right now, chat, because I, uh, this wasn't even pointed out in the post. I just read the, the messages myself, and I uh, saw this one at the end right there. He's having a conversation with somebody saying, please stop ma doing the things uh, they don't like, blah, blah, blah. Number of right-wing people who watch cuties to make sure to tell people it was pedo shit over one. Number of dicks and pedos who watch cuties equals zero. What was their defense of it? He says, I asked what their defense was. I still don't know. I'm sure I'll never find out. It's not child pornography, and it's artistic under the meaning given by the Supreme Court on a Sunday. The right fruit thing is weird, but I guess I need to see the context. Rikeda has finally, with no more bridge left with me, being left on red, has gone through and finally committed to the shtick. And he is now firmly on team Juju the Cow, team Christopher Gozaldi the pedophile. And he's now defending cuties as an artistic expression, criticizing the sexual exploitation of children by sexually exploiting children, by having crotch shots on 11 year olds and leotards. They're making a point about Hollywood or some shit. There was a stream, uh, I, I haven't put a clip for this because I don't want to dig through it and find it, but I remember I was invited onto one of the last streams I did with him is when we were talking about the cutie shit and talking about how the Attorney General of Texas was trying to bring a child pornography case against Netflix for distributing a, a movie which they believe failed the DOS standard and was not an artistic expression but was in fact child pornography. I can't remember what happened with that. I think it got dropped or some shit because I think they still they still have it. If you want to see La Maison Mia, on Netflix, you can go pull it up, but he was definitely not taking the stance. He was taking the stance that, yeah, this is probably very likely to be um, not acceptable because the main thing about the DOS standard is that like completely clothed pictures of, of girls can be considered, um, you know, child exploitation if the focus is on the genital regions. And based on what I've read from people who did watch it, um, particularly it was like a, some kind of feminist. She said it's actually worse than what the trailer led people to believe that there were extended dance sequences where the camera would just zoom in on their crotches and you could see nothing else except the camel toe of a 12 year old. And that was the movie. And you can try to dress it up and say that this is about, you know, child exploitation, but that fails the DOS standard. That's very clearly a candidate for, um, for being censored uh, legislatively. And it's just like, you know, he he doesn't want to watch it, I guess. And he's he's going to try to act like this is some big own. And it's like, how fucking disappointing. Um, and, but I don't think that it's possible for him to be any more disappointing now. Like, this is the dick and veto territory where the, he's just going to stand up and say, like, yeah, this video um, about sexually exploiting, you know, little girls. Uh, that's that's art now. And I and I'm, I'm all for it. I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I guess you can't you can't sink any lower, right? Unless you actually start committing crimes and shit, like uh, as far as being as retarded as possible within the confines of the law, you've, you've pretty much maxed out your your retard stat now, buddy. Such is life. Look, you guys have to be as pissed off as me. Are you ready? This is the official. Netflix trailer for cuties. That's a fucking child. Those are children. Vous dites quoi, la guerre? On va danser au concours. 
pense à Hugo. These are kids. Quoi? One for the party, two for the shot. They're kids. They're kids. They're 11 years old. Vous savez où passe l'esprit du mal? Ce sont ces femmes dénudées pour le mariage de ton père. Regarde comment elle te va. Tu es une femme maintenant. They're kids! Je suis désolée, je suis désolée. Me dis pas Non, tu l'as volé? Oh la déglage, je comprends pas! À quoi tu joues là, Ami? The only person with any sense in this thing is the mom slapping this little girl. Laisse couler l'eau, ma chérie. Dépêchez ses faces avec. Vous avez quel âge? Non, vous êtes Those are kids! Those are children. Those are children. They're 11 years old. What is it about? What is it about? Let me read the description to you. I'll show you. It's right here. Amy, 11 years old, tries to escape family dysfunction by joining a free-spirited dance clique named Cuties as they build their self-confidence through dance. Replace dance with twerk group because they have changed it they changed the description it's not a dance troupe it's a mother fucking twerk group their dances are explicitly sexualized ass shaking i covered this yesterday on my live stream and uh and we watched the trailer and and i i determined that basically uh everyone involved should get the gas like you said uh, there could be a daring and brave decision to do something and it can still be unacceptable and it can still be exploitative and it can still yeah. put children at risk and one of the key reasons that uh child porn is banned is not just the damage done to the children who's a victim of the particular photography it's the idea that creating the market uh around the exploited children exposes more children to exploitation and children are particularly vulnerable and unable to protect themselves a lot of people shit on Vito for his staunch defense of cuties also We're going to eat him up against the wall. <laughs> Vito can go up against the wall. Yeah. I have no chill on cuties, man. None. None. Well, you don't, you don't want like, uh, like 12-year-old girls being encouraged into thoughtery by a movie?